Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Ooh. How's everyone doing tonight? I am getting dressed. I got to teach a um I got to teach a grant class. So I figured while I'm getting dressed, why not go over some grant tips? So, December is a big grant month. Um, you want to make sure that um, when we're applying for grants, that we know why we need the money, okay? Just because our business isn't working, we aren't making sales, we don't have, um, we're not making the profit that we that we are wanting, doesn't mean, oh, I am, I am struggling today. It does not mean that we need funding. Our marketing may be off, right? Our brand message may be off. Um, our website may be boring. Our content marketing may not be uh, relaying the message, right? So when you're when we're talking about grants, we need to first understand why do you need this money, okay? So. Ask yourself in your business, what are you going to use the money for? Do we need equipment? Um, sometimes either we need equipment or maybe we have equipment, but it's old. It's outdated. Maybe we have equipment, but it's too slow, right? So I can maybe mass produce or I could do something at a faster rate if I had some updated equipment. Maybe I need some more inventory. Maybe I, I, sales isn't the problem. I'm making sales, but maybe whatever I'm, um, wherever I'm getting my, my product from is a delay, so it slows down my process. For example, I had a, I had a consultation with a client. She makes a, um, a unique head wrap for you to sleep in that doesn't, um, if, you, if you have long extensions, it doesn't like leave a dent in your extensions. But part of the material, part some of her material has to get shipped from India, and the other material has to get shipped from um, Indonesia, right? She always sells out of her product, and then she has to re-up on inventory. But now the issue is the main ingredient in the product that she uses for the, for the head wrap that doesn't leave like a dent uh, in the hair, and when you... Take the hair out. You don't have to curl your hair again. That material is now discontinued, okay? So Indonesia is saying, well, we don't mind bringing that material back, but you're going to have to now pay for it in a bulk order for us to, you know, bring that material back. Well, that's like her winning material. So she has to get this item in a bulk order, which is like five times more than what she's used to spending because she has to buy it in a, um, in a larger quantity. Think about why does your business need money, okay? I had a consultation today with um, a young lady who's selling a product, and she's like, you know, I don't want to leave my job. Whew, I want to leave my job, and I just need to get this business going, and I just need some money for marketing because um, I got to get these get this product out. I got 2,000 bottles of blah, blah, blah. And when I go to her page, like, baby, if we send, if we go and get the money for marketing and we send all your clients to this page, you still have to have no sales because your page isn't, um, we're not, we're not, we're not saying what our brand message is. When I, when I, when I go to your page, I don't even understand what you're selling. Your, your, your product pictures aren't moving me. Um, no one is, you know, giving me a video or some kind of insight as to why I need this product. What problem is it solving? How are you the solution? So as you're asking for this grant money, really look at your business and really realize or assess yourself, you know, what does your business need? Sometimes we may need to ask that honest friend. Don't ask your bestie who's going to agree with you. Don't ask your mama if your mama, you know, is your number one fan. Ask someone who will give you some honest feedback. If you go to my website, what do you think? When you see my product come in the mail, I'm packaging it like this, what do you think? Uh, go to my social media page, you know, am I moving you with my content? Um, 
Ask yourself, what do you need for the money? Now, great things to ask for will be, like I said, equipment, inventory, um, office supplies, if we have to get something expensive. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe we are a realtor, maybe we are in an industry where we have to have some kind of robust CRM system, or we, we have some kind of software and it's expensive, okay? So, office supplies like that, software... If we need to get our brand name trademark, right? Or if we have, if I, if I make something, I make a, a hair growth oil, I make uh, some kind of lotion, right? That helps eczema and I'm selling it, right? But it, it takes me so long to make it. I need to now mass produce this product. Well, I can't just go and give the production company my formula because they will steal it from me and sell it to my competitor or to a bigger brand. So I got to first patent my formula. So uh, professional fees, attorney fees, trademark fees, don't ask for your LLC fee. At least come with your LLC together. But those are things that we can be asking for. If we are working at home, right, and you cannot do any more orders. It is time for you to get a warehouse. Or, you know, you, you have so much foot traffic getting, getting people's nails done at your house. It is, not, it is now time for you to go on ahead and graduate and get some booth rent. Um, what else? So any kind of rent for an office space, rent for a warehouse, rent for a bigger place. Those are things to ask for. Um remodeling maybe wherever we are is fine but maybe it's outdated okay a photo shoot maybe our brand photos on our website are a little old and outdated we need to kind of you know spruce them up so before we just go go and start applying for money you want to really understand why does your business need the money and what you're going to use it for now when we're applying for grants one little trick you can do is look at the past grant winners. Whenever you go on, on a grant website, they're going to have a list of their grant winners from last year, the year before, blah, blah, blah. Read their stories, right? I'm not saying copy what they said, but just kind of read their stories so you can kind of get a glimpse as to what the person who won, what did they do? What did they use the money for? How did it help them? What kind of business were they in? And I really say this so that you can kind of understand that the people who win the grant are just regular people. I am I uh, I have a grant masterclass where I break down my my uh, my secret sauce grant blueprint. Rexy, please don't do this tonight, please. If you want a link to my masterclass, just comment masterclass in the comments, and a link will be sent to you. But um, when I did my masterclass. I had them, we, we logged on to um, a grant, we did a walkthrough grant, and I showed them the past winner, right? One of the past winners, she owned a, um, a dairy farm, okay? So she milks cows, and she sells the cow milk, that's what she does. So she did her video baby in her kitchen. Now the ounce of makeup on, two pigtails, okay? So when you saw Miss Amy, Amy, Amy is giving you, you know, Wisconsin dairy, uh, dairy vibes, okay? Um, and she just got on there. She was real simple is the word, okay? Oh my gosh, you know, uh, oh, it's not counting. What is it? She used some kind of agriculture term, but you know, her, her grandfather had a, had a dairy farm and her dad worked the dairy farm, and so she just grew up on the farm, and she always knew when she got older, she wanted to, you know, carry on the family business, and they needed the money. She needed the money to do, baby, I'm not, I'm not into agriculture, right? So I'm, I know I'm saying things all the way wrong, but they needed the money to do something with the cows, right? And But she was so simple, right? She's in overalls, okay? So I'm saying all that to say, uh, for business grants, they're not looking for you to have a PhD in, you know, in English and language arts. They're not looking for you to write, you know, a um, a Pulitzer winning award, you know, grant proposal. They understand that you're good at your business, right? You're good at whatever, whatever skill, whatever, um, whatever craft, whatever trade, whatever you have, you're good at that. You may not be good at writing. 
So I tell people all the time, number one, look at the past winners. One, to see that they're just regular people, right? And when you hear their story, when you see them talk, you can already tell, oh baby, she may have had some misspellings in her in her application. She may not even had any you know big vocabulary words in her application, which will let you know maybe if she can do it, you can do it, okay? They're not looking for the grammar to be perfect. They're not looking for it to sound good. They're looking to see if I give you this money, do you know what, why you need it and how it's going to make your business more money, okay? So looking at the grant winners from before, seeing how, what they asked for, what, how the money helped them, blah, blah, blah. Um, another thing we can do is when you're looking at the grant, research the, uh, research the company that's giving the grant. Why are they giving this grant? Okay. Um, some people are into, you know, helping entrepreneurs. Some people are into, you know, f f figure out what, what are, what are they saying is their purpose? Okay. Are they, are they focused on helping women overcome adversity you know, in the workplace or entrepreneurship, are they interested in helping just young entrepreneurs? Are they interested in, you know, making things easier? Find out what their interest is. And you can find that out by one, you can go to their website and just read about the grant. Why did they start this grant? Okay. Did someone's dad have a business and the business went bankrupt and he learned blah, blah, blah. And for that reason, find out why. They started this grant, and you want to, and you want to, you want to mirror your, you want to mirror what you're saying to lean on that aspect. For example, if I'm applying for a grant, and let's just say grant number one is looking to help small business owners um, be able to have some money for their business, but they're just saying small business owners. Well, I don't need to talk about how I'm a woman-owned business because they're just they're looking to help small business owners. So I'm just gonna be a little less on the women and more on my business. Okay. On the flip side, if I'm applying for a grant that maybe is for minorities, well, now I may mention that I am a double minority. I'm an African American female. I'm a woman. You know. So when I'm talking about my business. I'll talk about the struggles I have as a business owner. I will also talk about the struggles I have as a woman business owner. And I'll also talk about the struggles I have as a minority business owner. Okay. So when you, when you, before we just, you know, open up that laptop and start answering these questions, figure out what, from what angle are we, are we going to answer these questions? Okay. Why, why is the person doing this grant? Who are they looking to help? If someone's looking to help a small business owner and I'm doing a whole essay about how hard it is being a minority and maybe they can say nothing about, about, not, not about no minorities. Okay. They may not care that you're a minority, that that may not move them. Right. So do your research on the grant. Who is the organization or the business that is putting this grant on? Why are they giving this grant? What's the backstory? All of this information will be on their website. Another thing you want to think of is what is the tone of this organization? The tone means, is it like a, does this organization seem fun and friendly like the Southwest? Um, is this organization seem more, you know, more, more corporate, more, more business, more structured? And then we can kind of write the same answer, but our tone will change. Okay. If anyone, if anyone has ever flown Southwest, Southwest is known for being like that little fun, friendly airline. So, you know, they're, they're going to be super friendly. Hi. You know, they're going to have like little jokes when they talk about, you know, the, the emergency seating and blah, blah, blah. They're going to have jokes. It, it's just real fun and friendly over on Southwest, right? Well, if you go to Delta or United, they're more of like a, a more, I don't want to say professional, a more no nonsense, right? So if the grant, if, if the grant organization just seems really just, I guess corporate would be the name, corporate, boring, normal, then we, we want to have our tone mirror that, right? 
But like there was a um there was a mom grant and the mom grant was like, you know, it, it was for a mom to help her, you know, be able to have fun and do things that, you know, she isn't able to do. It was a more casual, a more fun, fun tone, right? So as I'm writing my grant, I'm going to mirror the tone. I may have less big vocabulary words. I may, you know, speak more simple because who is, who is, sit, who is doing this grant is a simple organization. They're not... So you want to be able to mirror whatever is the tone and whatever is the cause for this grant, okay? That way it makes your business, it makes you more aligned with who they are and what they're looking for, okay? So those would be a couple little grant tips that I'll share when we are applying for these grants. If you want a more detailed explanation, you can drop masterclass in the chat and the link will be sent to you. Um, but like I said, December has a lot of business grants. Even if we haven't applied for a grant before, baby, just pull up that laptop, right? All they can do is tell you no. If you have never written a grant before, just go look at a grant application. So you can see what they ask. I have so many people. Hold on. Hold on. I have a grant bundle that gives you the link to 900 business grants. And I have like little training courses in there that explain to you how to fill the application out. I'll be getting calls all day, every day. Hey. I bought your grant application bundle, but I mean, do you just do it? I just don't know how to write a grant. And so I asked them, did you, did you look at, did you listen to any of the courses? Well, no, see, I'm not a good at writing. So I know I can't write a grant. People will always just count themselves out. Right? So I tell people, go look at the grant. A business grant application, some, some, some grant applications are four questions. They're going to be asking you the same stuff. Why did you start your business? What obstacles did you face? Why do you need the money? Um, what makes you different than, you know, everyone else? So when people call me talking about, can I do it? I just don't know what to do. I tell them, okay, hang up the phone and go go pull up a grant application and call me right back. And they're like, oh my gosh, that's it? Oh, I can do that. So you've never written a grant before. Just tonight, when you got this live, just go, if you have my grant bundle, if you need my grant bundle, type in grants in the uh, comment. But just go on my grant bundle, just click on a grant, and just click on the application. Just, just look at it, right? If you don't have my grant bundle, just, just Google business grant and just go look at the actual application. It's not going to be a 20 page grant proposal. Um, all you have to do is look at the questions and answer the questions. But a lot of times without even looking at the question, we don't count ourselves out. Oh, I can't write. Baby, you don't have to write. I got to answer these four questions. Like stop playing with yourself. So. Make sure that we know why we need the money, what we're going to do with the money. The more you know that you have your stuff together, the more that increases your likelihood of getting the grant. Because for a business grant, they're not looking just to throw money away in the sky, right? They are getting this money from donors, and so they're looking for an aha story. We gave, you know, 10 business owners $10,000, and business one did X, business two did this. Business three did this, business four did this. So this year, instead of you giving me a million dollars, can I get 1.5 million, right? They're looking for an aha story. So they're looking for a business um, owner who, who already has their stuff together. I already have a game plan for why I need this money, what I'm going to do with this money, and how what I'm asking for is going to make me money, okay? So we don't want to ask for things like paying off debt. I'm behind on my bills. And they about to close my doors. Can you please give me some money? 
Nobody wants to throw one raft to a sinking Titanic because it's not going to make a difference. Okay, I give you the money today. You pay your rent for December. Now in January, we're at the same place crying broke, you know, and don't have any money. So you want to make sure that we're positioning our business to be innovative, to be the leader in our industry, to be the new up and coming. You always want to speak about your business in a positive light, not... I don't have no clients. I need help. Woe is me. We always want to speak, 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 the, speak the benefit or the good part about your business. Okay. So those will be my grant tips for tonight. I may go live when I do this webinar. We'll see. And I will, I will post this live on my page. So in case if you are just, you know, chiming in. You'll be able to catch these tips, but it's December, okay? So let's go on ahead and start applying for these grants. I tell people apply for five to ten grants every single month. One, it's going to increase your confidence when you're applying for the grant. Two, you're going to um, it's going to increase your likelihood of winning the grant, right? Like people apply for one grant and don't get it and they quit. Like, well, when you're learning how to walk, if you try one time and quit, you fall, get back up, fall, get back up, fall, get back up, okay? So, in this month, we're applying for five business grants. We're just going to just get our feet wet. We're going to, you know, just kind of fill them out, see what they're talking about. But I will save this uh, live so if you just, you know, chime in, you can kind of see some of the tips as to how to make your, how to make your grants sound like what they are looking for. Okay? Everyone have an awesome day. And I will, of course, see you at the bank.